So we saw Zero One is still being under control of the Metal Cluster Hopper Pro Ice Key, in which he cannot control it yet again. Which we actually saw EG try to stop him, but the corruption of the Pro Ice Key corrupted his programming as well. In which we saw that Dowser using his Pro Ice Key to into the Dowsing Jacker, and then we actually saw him defeat both of them with a single slash with his Dowsing Breaker, which mean which means that we actually saw Arto being defeated by Dowser. So we actually gonna see what they're gonna do next. Aside from the fact that Arto cannot control the metal cluster hopper pro ice key, we actually seen him try to recover in the hospital while Aizu actually call on to the rest of the human gears for her help. In which we saw Fua trying to get more in intel from Horobi, which he actually told him that he actually knew where all the raiders were actually coming from, in which we actually seen him being attacked by Fua, by which we saw the human gears actually using their human gear progress keys, including Aizu, which they actually have it for the first time and the first appearance of their human gear progress key, in which they actually have come up with a way for Orto to control the metal cluster progress key, metal cluster hopper progress key, and with that we actually saw Orto actually been cleared to leave. However, we saw Guy actually encounter NG and he actually turned into an arc monster in which we saw him transform to Dowser and we saw the arc monster versus Dowser in which Orto saw it actually happen. So we actually saw Aizu creating a new weapon in which we saw her giving the Zero One driver and the Metal Cluster Hopper Pro Ice Key to Arto, and he actually transformed. But however, we saw Iso flip and gave Zero One a new weapon called the Pro Ice Hopper Blade. A new weapon which when he actually touched it, all of the dark web coding actually went away and started to transform into a coding that Orto once used when he's about to transform. And with that, Zero One is able to control the metal cluster hopper progress key with his new weapon, the progress hopper blade, in which we see him using it to his advantage and he actually defeats the arc monster and then he actually used the attached caliber and then the progress hopper blade together into a staff mode and then we saw him connecting the blade to the zero one driver for the finishing attack and he defeats Dowser for the first time and with that, we actually seen everything's right in the world, which Orto can finally control his super mode, and he actually thanks Aizu for his, I mean, for her help. But we actually knew something actually goes wrong, as we actually see a terrible fate is going to happen. So we actually going to see what's actually going to happen. But we actually are happy to see Orto controlling the Metal Cluster Progress Key with his new weapon, the Progress Hopper Blade. And we actually saw a new weapon actually happen for the Super Mode. 
So I cannot wait to actually see what's going to happen on the next episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and like my Facebook page. Until then, anime guys, during your stay inside and out. Later.